you might notice that uh, it's not being um, interpreted linearly. So even though we have even steps between these different uh, grayscale values, uh, it's not like being displaced uh, in a linear manner. And if you want that, what you have to do is to go into your texture, into the texture settings, and here in the contrast settings, drag that down to zero and execute the uh, geometry nodes. And once, it do uh, once it's done doing that, we should see that it's now being displaced in a linear manner. If we go and have a look at this disk right here. So it has been created using this part up here. It's a multi material, so I have another material down here, but uh, don't pay attention to, to this for now. Um, we have this uh, disk displaced by a procedural texture. And um, if I take this down to zero, like that, and look at this, we can see that it has been mapped with this color gradient, again, going from black, 20% white, 40, 60, 80, and full white. And when I displace this, uh, whoops, let me double click the displacement node. Let's take five centimeters and bring it upwards. Again, we see that we don't have this uh, linear interpretation. And if you want that for a um, procedural texture where you don't have this contrast slider, what you can do is to add in a color adjust node between the uh, displace and the texture. So I right click this connection here between these two and select utilities and select color adjust. And in this one, we have a contrast slider and I have to set that at 0.5. So not zero as you would do with the uh, uh, bitmap textures, but 0.5. And when I execute that, we will get this perfectly linear interpretation. So just a heads up on that.